Top of the morning, lads and lassies, and welcome to Top 15 Things You'll Only See in Ireland. I love everything about Ireland. Tato's, Guinness, the Toy Show, thanking the bus driver, leaving on the immersion, being afraid of a wooden spoon, GAA, Flat 7 Up, The Bog, The Homelessness Crisis, Mrs. Brown's Boys, Evictions, Leo Varadkar, Rory Stories, and of course, tins of roses at Christmas time. You want to know what's worse than opening a roses tin and finding a sewing kit inside? Opening a roses tin and finding the chocolates inside. Quality Street and Rose's chocolate tins have been a staple of the Christmas season since 1936 and 1938 respectively. These two are family favourites in Ireland, but I can't help but feel that they are generic and overrated, and were surpassed by their successors. The late 1990s saw the introduction of two new superior chocolate tins in the lucrative chocolate tins market, Celebrations and Heroes. My main gripe with Rose's and Quality Street is that each chocolate is identified by the colour of its wrapper, and you have to check out these guides in the boxes if you want to know what you're getting yourself into. Let's take a look at these Quality Streets. Yeah, I have no idea what any of these are, and I don't want to risk eating a coconut or a peanut masquerading as a chocolate bar, so let's take a look at the guide here. So we've got a basic toffee finger, and there's a deluxe variant and a Big Bang Theory character variant, we've got a Thanos chocolate, a swear word, and orange cream, which was my nickname in secondary school. I've got no idea what this one is called, so I'll just call it the Green Triangle for now, and I'll check its official name here. Oh. But it's all about the taste in the end, so what are my impressions on Quality Street chocolates? Now don't worry pensioners, I'm not going to leave you out. It seems like the Roses Hub has decreased in size yet again this year, but that wasn't my primary complaint. I spent a while searching for the guide until I finally realised that it's on the bottom of the tub, which is pretty inconvenient. I know they finally included the names of the chocolates on the wrappers this year after just 80 years of being on the market, but I still can't tell what they are. What the hell is a signature truffle? We've got some classic mainstays here such as Strawberry Dream, Golden Barrel, and historically the only edible chocolate in the entire collection, made with everybody's favourite ingredients, milk, sugar, and sodium hydrogen carbonate. Since I was young, it has been my instinct to disregard everything that isn't a dairy milk, but for this video, I'm going to try out something else for a change. You know, can't be that bad. Let's move on to the two new kids on the block. Celebrations actually feature some beloved recognisable brands, including Milky Way, Wix.com, The Best One, Ew, Elon Musk, Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and Why Do You Exist? Celebrations are best described as hit or miss. There's a lot of top tier chocolates in this collection, but why is this still here? Anyways, let's open it up and see what's inside. So this is what a finished box of Celebrations looks like. And even if you're allowed to give chocolate to a dog, I wouldn't give them this garbage. And Anyways, uh, let's just uh, move on to Heroes. So in my opinion, this is the cream of the crop. And what does she want now? Here. So, like I was saying, every Christmas season presents a huge selection of chocolate assortments to choose from. But these guys are essentially the top four, and you're guaranteed to receive at least one of each every year. In my opinion, the only box that gets everything right is Heroes, the youngest of the bunch. Every single chocolate here is a winner. Well, except for this shit. With an impressive roster comprising of Dairy Milk, Dairy Milk Caramel Edition, Whisper, Twirl, Cream Egg, Fudge, and Diabetes, Heroes puts every other chocolate tint to shame. Everything about this is so much better than Roses and Quality Street combined, but it seems like there isn't anybody else in the country who agrees. If you check out any surveys about Irish people's favourite chocolate collections, the list usually looks like this, when, in my opinion, it should be the other way around. I know that everybody is entitled to their own opinion and everything, but these rankings are completely berserk. Malteser's Teaser is a worthy winner here, but how are Bounty and Snickers ranked above Twix and Milky Way? I will admit that the Heroes ranking is pretty accurate. Eclair is in last place where it belongs, so I'm automatically satisfied with the rest of the list. I find it confusing how Roses is the top ranked selection tub by a landslide, but there are people out there who unironically enjoy these crimes against humanity, so I'm not too surprised. That is just my personal opinion of the best chocolate tubs out there, but if you care about ranking chocolates as much as I do, then you should probably start your life out, and you can feel free to leave a comment with your own opinion. In the meantime, I'll be opening presents for my girlfriend. I wonder what this could be. Uh, so it's not exactly the one I wanted, uh, but there's another present here. She knows me so well. I'm getting a divorce. Here's the 